Hi guys, uh, in this video I will be demonstrating how to install uh, Keriba into your AutoCAD uh, application. Um, I noticed that there are being a lot of misunderstanding in the version which I posted on the website. Uh, many people have been getting uh, error 76, uh, a path not found. And this is mostly because the application have, been, have not been installed properly. And in this short video, I'll be demonstrating how to proceed. Uh, assuming you have downloaded the uh, zip file on the website. After downloading the zip file, uh, what you need to do next is to unzip the, um, the zip folder. These are the zip file. I must unzip it. I will just double click and um, click on extract. Extraction complete. Here's the uh, unzip folder. On the website is in zip folder let's open it once you open it on zip folder, you will find another um, folder in with the same name double click on that same folder here is the folder that we need to copy and save under our c drive you need to copy this folder and save it under our c drive uh, which i'm going to do copy and go into my c drive yes my c drive uh, just ensure that you got the right to save uh, a, for a file on your C drive. I will pass it here. Yes, our folder with all our detail, our data in here. The icon, the uh, the block, the dynamic block, uh, and the um, carry bar, ribbons, buttons, and these are the uh, your VB macro. And these are lips. This allowed you to input the comment on the keyboard. So once we have done this, this is the first step. Like download it from the website and unzip the folder and save the KDBA folder under your C drive. This is a very important step because once you miss this step, your application won't, won't work. You will, you will keep getting uh, the uh, error 76. Uh, path not found because you cannot find this folder that's wh where uh, many people have been uh, stuck so when this is done let's go and launch our AutoCAD now our AutoCAD is up so I'm in AutoCAD now the next step is to go to manage here is manage on your ribbon tab go on uh, manage tab Manage tab and you go on load application. Here we are in load application. So let's and you don't do anything on this side. Go on contents, content suite. And what we need to do is to add the two folder that we need. Is I'm already on my C drive, so I'm already in the. Let's go back. So let's. This is under my C drive. This is a carry bar folder we just save now. Let's open it. And in this, you, you, as you can see, these are our the two folder I need to load: the carry bar DVB and the carry bar lips. So I just select the two folder, the two file, and open. You can see the two folder um, are loaded. And you close. When I close this application, when I close this for a window, our um, you see here, upload two files added. Currently, our application is ready to run, but uh, we have we haven't got the, the ribbon tab for our um, tools bar tool buttons, but uh, the application can run properly. If you are click here, key E B D. Uh, let's call. Let's relaunch AutoCAD. Let's relaunch AutoCAD. Let's tap our shortcut command. You see, now we got access to all our shortcut command from the keyboard. So if you are click the bar add, this is our window of the applications. So it, uh, we can use our application now. Normally, you uh, call, uh, without any 
issue using the shortcut um, command the shortcut uh, k the keyboard command all these keyboard command can be used now uh, without any uh, problem but uh, we would also like to have a, a ribbon type uh, currently now what we can do we might just click uh, see you load we need to load now our um, a, a ribbon file and to do that let's go to browse you must browse now to our carry bar on our c drive let's make sure this is on the c drive uh, yes we are on the c drive you click here c drive and this is the file that we need to load just click on the file and open it. and once you the file is here just click to load uh, the, 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 the your ribbon file is loaded yeah you, you got it here it is and you close the window and there you have all your buttons now you got access to all your buttons your ribbon buttons setting you click setting uh, you do the same thing i have been doing section i got nothing on the so all your button can work properly now let's say for instance you want to add the bar on the footing you can go on the beam quantity three and you add the bar and then you can add the uh, label single bar and then you go bar number one and then you can click on the bending schedule and everything come up properly nicely and you can use all your button now normally following the instruction in the video on youtube on the other um other on my previous videos uh that's all guys uh, that i hope that uh, now you guys will get it right and will uh, be able to enjoy these uh, tools